Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really exciting video. It's basically all about the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna foundation. So I'm gonna do like a mini review to let you guys know basically what I think of it. This is the foundation box. The packaging is very classy. It's like black and white, a very neutral, quite sophisticated. So that's quite nice. This is basically the bottle. It's a glass bottle and it's kind of like misted glass. Like what is it? Misted? Frosted? You know when it's like not clear? Yeah, that kind of glass which feels really nice. It's a really good size as well. It's 32 mil which is quite good for a foundation. It retails in the UK for £26 and it's exclusive to Harvey Nichols in the UK. So I basically ordered mine online, the shade 310. So this foundation is a super matte foundation and it claims to be medium to full coverage. So on the box it says Medium to full coverage for all, long wear, light as air. So one thing that I really liked about this uh, foundation is that it's very, very, very buildable. So personally, I don't like to go too heavy with my foundation coverage. Like, I like to go medium usually, um, even sometimes light. But trying this out, you can tell that if you just want to put a little bit, like, it doesn't look so, like, full coverage and intense and, like, it doesn't come out cakey because it literally is so light. Like, I was so surprised. I was like, okay, so it's medium to full coverage. Oh, okay, this is gonna be quite like, you know, heavy on the skin. And it's not like at all, it's crazy. It feels so light and thin. It's as if like you're not wearing foundation at all, which is so nice and so difficult to find. So it's really, really good in that way. Foundations are quite difficult for me because especially if they're matte and I'm combination skin, it's difficult to find one that kind of um, keeps my oils at bay. But when I wore this, I put it on, how long did I wear it for? I think I wore it for about 10 hours. Yeah, about 10 hours and it stayed on so well literally so well I can't even explain I did all my usual things like I didn't change anything else but my makeup or my skin routine it was literally just the foundation and it stayed exactly how it was when I put it on right to the end obviously I had a little bit like a little bit of oiliness coming through but compared to how much I normally get through it was so much better like at the moment before this I've been using the NYX uh, drop foundation which I love I love the finish of it, it's like a really nice satin feel um, and I've been so happy with that but one thing I found is that I start to get an oily nose throughout the day and I'm just like, I check the mirror and I'm like, oh my god, like, when did it get that bad, like, oh my god. Um, so I feel like I have to keep kind of like blotting my nose throughout the day. One thing that didn't happen with this foundation was that, so that was really nice. So for you know when you're not really able to keep uh, checking your face and like, you know, you're a bit busy and stuff and you need something to last a long time, it's definitely a really good option. So obviously we need to talk about the like biggest thing about this foundation, which is the fact that it comes in 40 shades, which is so exciting um, because it means it's so much easier to match to your skin. So those of you that don't know, she has come out with such a huge range, like for foundations, it is so rare to find that much of a variety in shades. So that is really, really amazing. This is yellow toned. So it kind of depends on how warm, neutral, cool toned you want your foundation, depending on your skin tone. Um, and I always go for like yellow based, um, like yellow undertone, warm um, shades. So this was that. So those of you that want to know, shade 310, is that of a yellow undertone. So what I did is I applied the foundation in two different ways. Um, I applied this half of my face with a Real Techniques sponge and this half of my face with, which you can't even see, this half of my face with um, two Real Techniques brushes. Oh, I literally did Real Techniques all round. That was unintentional. Um, yeah, I used these two brushes. So the stippling brush and the sculpting brush to kind of, um, blend it in afterwards um, and I've 
got a little clip which I'll show you of me basically applying the foundation. As you can see, I built up um, the coverage. I applied like a very small amount to start with. I blended it in and I was like, okay, I can go more, I can go more. And I kind of like built it up. And I did add like, I would say three, three layers, but not like full coverage layers. Um, but three of like my standard like how much I would normally apply three lots of that and it did not come out cakey at all Obviously, this is like within reason like that doesn't mean if you pour half the bottle on your face It won't come out cakey because I am not gonna say that that won't happen but it was so easy to build which was perfect because I feel like then it caters for whatever you're looking for if you want something a little like you know lighter softer on the face more like your skin you don't want it to look like oh yeah like she's wearing loads of makeup like if you don't want that look you can make it look like that or you know if you're going to something like like a bigger event and you want it to be more glam and you want to have that full face you can also go with that so that is really really great too um I did find that the side where I used the brushes, it came out a little bit more flawless in my opinion. Um, both sides I feel I'm quite happy with. I mean obviously I finished my makeup afterwards so you're not going to see like the biggest, you know, it's not going to be like, oh my god this side is so patchy and this side is normal because obviously, you know, I blended it out. But um, both sides were completely fine but if I had to pick one I would definitely say that with brushes um, is probably going to get you your optimum result with this foundation. The first time I wore it I got so many people saying like oh my god like your skin looks so flawless like oh my god your makeup looks so smooth like whoa and it's all the foundation it's not me. <laughs> one thing is I found that the shade 310 was slightly light for me um, just a little bit it depends on obviously your preference if you prefer to kind of lighten up your foundation with concealer or if you prefer to bronze it up point is it's always kind of manageable but there are so many shades like as long as you get within your ballpark I don't think you can really go that wrong but obviously if you're able to go test it out before you you know decide which one you're gonna get I was quite skeptical um, with the fact that I don't know I find with you know Kylie cosmetics and all of this like with people creating brands that aren't typically in the makeup industry you know you can be a bit skeptical like mm, is it just for a hype like you don't want it to just like be their name that's selling it and the product actually not be as great as other things out there in the market but I won't lie this was really really impressive honestly I can't think of anything that bad about it um, if I'm honest I uh, really like the finish of it and it's not just because it's matte, I wouldn't be too afraid of using it, even if you suffer from dry skin. Um, because, as you know, I have eczema, so I have areas on my face where I have really bad dry skin. And I haven't suffered with it. Like, there's, it's not like, so this is the area that I typically get it quite bad. You can kind of tell the patchiness. Um, that is typically the area on my face which gets quite dry at the moment because of my eczema. And you can't you can't tell like it this doesn't exaggerate that dryness or anything obviously you know you want to compensate and not use too many other drying products on your skin if you're using a matte foundation but I've not found that this you know exaggerated any dry points on my face so as someone with combination skin I feel like it definitely does the job um, and my main concern was the nose area I just completely jogged the camera. My main concern was, you know, oiliness on the nose. I wouldn't want that to go like out of control. I find it really difficult to maintain and um, it dealt with that really well. So I am really, really pleased with this foundation and um, I hope that you guys like it too. And let's hope that she produces more products and expands her range because Honestly, I think everyone's kind of loving it at the moment. And it's relatively affordable for a product of hers. Everything that it's claimed to have, I have found that it it does stick to. The only thing I would say is that I wouldn't say that it's only medium to full coverage. I would say that it literally can be catered to whatever coverage that you want it to be, which is a 
an even better thing that it states. I think that this is a really great product and especially for the quantity of how much you're getting in a bottle, um, I would definitely say that the price is worth it. I think that with the rest of the range it can be a little bit questionable. Um, you know, personally, I think the highlighter, Trophy Wife, £26, it's the same price as the foundation for the highlighter. Uh, personally, I'm like, it's not worth the buy because, you know, it's also quite like an out there shade. It's like a very bright yellow gold. It's gorgeous, but like it's, it's very full on. So it's not something that I think I'd find myself wearing often. Um, and I don't really think it's incredibly complimentary to uh, my skin tone either. So I was like, mm, I'll just stick to the foundation. But what I've tried has been amazing. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you liked this video and this whole like review style thing. I have another video coming soon. It's actually already filmed. It's like a chatty tutorial, like an Indian get ready with me and a bit of like a life update from me too. So that will be up very soon too. So um, please wait for that. That's not really what you should say. So please I don't even know, so... So I hope you guys like that one too when it comes... No, that's not good either. So... I will have another video up soon, let's go with that one. Please like, comment, um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let me know what you want to see because I don't know what to film. <laughs> um, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.